Gale betra cook. Think a day of fear, pretty looks a one. Leave a restaurant and condon my bum book. What? Let's eat, travel, and do great things together. With Sabrina Adriana. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be teaching you how to make this tasty pot roast pork that you see on screen. Now we all know that everybody cooks differently. For my pot roast pork, I blended my seasonings. In my seasonings, I had thyme, onion, escalion, ginger, garlic, and rosemary. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys that I also added some scotch bonnet pepper. Now, let's start blending. We're all done. Now it's time to throw this lovely mixture on the meat. Here we have our nice piece of pork roast that I bought from my grandfather. Now I started by piercing the roast with some holes before I put the seasoning in it or on it. In it, on it, same thing. Pierce away. By the way, why did I hold the knife like that? Anyways, as long as it gets the job done. Of course, before you start seasoning the meat, you have to ensure that you wash your meat with either vinegar, lime juice, or the lime itself. After we finished piercing the meat, then we pour that mixture all over the meat every last drop now i'm also going to add some grace caribbean traditions garlic powder and like most black people i do not cook with measurements so i can't tell you how much garlic powder i put on there for sure I just sprinkle garlic powder till I hear voices sprinkle no more. I also added a generous amount of Maggi all purpose powder seasoning. For me, this is a staple whenever I am cooking. I use it in virtually all my meat dishes. And when I'm using it, I don't use salt. So if you're not going to use this, then you would need to add a little salt for flavor. But because this already has salt in it, when I am using it, I don't use any salt. After you've added the powder seasoning, then you need to massage all of that seasoning into the meat. You're now going to make love to the piece of pork chop. No, it's not a pork chop, it's a pork roast. And you're going to massage it, sprinkle your, your, your powder, and you're going to massage it in, ensure that it gets into all the crevices, ensure that you put it under the skin, ensure that you poke the seasoning down in the holes because you want to ensure that the meat is well seasoned so that it can become very well marinated and you will have an exciting flavor when it is cooked. So you just have to take your time, sprinkle your powder seasonings and add the seasonings that you've already blended and rub it into the meat. Take your time and caress it and ensure that the meat is seasoned to perfection. Also added some easy spice Jamaican black pepper. Then I 
continue to massage the meat to ensure that all the spices, all the seasonings got into all the crevices, all the holes that I poked in the meat, as well as underneath the pork skin as well. You have to ensure that you get the seasonings all under there so that you can have a nice, well marinated meat. I have to taste the seasonings to ensure that it's not missing anything yup good to go now I'm going to put this in the fridge overnight and it's going to stay there until the next day when I'm going to prepare it you're going to need a nice Dutch pot and when you get that Dutch pot on the fire fire it up and let it heat up many people use oil I don't use oil because for me pork produces its own oil so I just add water to the pot before adding my pork I'm not sure why I recorded this in a vertical view must have forgotten my bad guys I also added a little bit of soy sauce before I added it to the pot after you add the soy sauce you want to ensure that you also massage that into the meat and you want to ensure that both sides are covered evenly in soy sauce don't mind the scrunchie on my hand guys it did not get in the food some people also use browning as well as some persons don't use anything at all and just allow the pork to brown naturally I'm going to allow the pork to brown naturally because soy sauce doesn't give that much of a color so I'm going to have to allow the pork to brown naturally which is something that I take pleasure in doing. After you finish adding the soy sauce then you're going to add the pork to the pot with a little bit of water in it. Cover it and allow it to brown naturally. The pork will spring its own oil, it will also spring water and as it continues to brown, the water will reduce and you will have to add water at intervals. As you can see here, my pork is very much in the process of browning and one side is almost completely brown and as it browns, I add water to the pot so that it doesn't stick. And again. I forgot to record horizontally so that is why you're seeing the image like that what I remembered so here we have our pork browned on all sides and I also added a little bit of onions to it because I love onions some people don't you can also add other fresh seasonings to it if you would like such as scallion and thyme and rosemary I opted not to just because I didn't want to this time sometimes I do add seasonings and it's all done and ready to eat now this pork cooked really really easy because it was very tender so it didn't take as long as normal and now I'm going to put it on my cutting board and I'm going to slice it top Ooh, look at that juiciness oh my god Woo. and guys the pork was so tender that it broke in two before i actually took it out of the pot that's how tender it was all right let's slice up this bad boy are you ready wow look how easily cut that is it the meat is so tender it is juicy it's not dry as you can see the meat is kind of breaking up as i cut it because the meat is just tender and nice Ooh, such deliciousness guys i really love pork like pork is my favorite meat i had to take that piece and taste it and this was all for me i didn't expect my dad to visit that day <laughs> so when he came i had to share it with him of course but the pork was really really good
that's my dad cutting up his pieces after I'm running from a pot. Look at that guys, so 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 good. I'm sure if you try this recipe, you will really really enjoy it. And you can also cook it with beef if you don't eat pork, it's cooked the same way. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please remember to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I hope that you'll try this recipe very soon. Let me know what it is like when you try it. And I hope you really enjoy this video. Until next time guys. Bye.